Hello there, I am Giant Grodd from my Pokemon review video. In the last part, we unlocked the Regis by using a Relicanth and a, a Wailmer, a Wailord I should say, and then we also used a HM Surf Dive and a Dig. We got to the sealed chamber and like the Regis and uh, now we, then all the ruins are open, which they were sealed off before. So here's the desert ruin, here's um, Regirock right here. So to solve this puzzle, um, you'll need strength, so that's why I have, um, where I friend I got him off screen, uh, from the PC. I put, a uh, Smokey my Torkoal in the PC, but you'll need strength for this puzzle. Okay, so if you read this braille right here, it basically says, it should say, just go right to, so one, two, and then down to, one, two, and then you strength. That's all you have to do to open, uh, the, uh, this little ruins up, because, uh, Regirac is sealed behind that wall basically, so just strength right here. Awesome, and this is take one of me trying to catch uh, Regirac. I've had so, like two or three failed recordings because where I just ended up not being able to catch it because it used struggle and ran out of PP and stuff. But yeah, I have um, Scream up front, so yeah, because uh, it's neutral, Scream was neutral effect, uh, uh, Rock Demon was a neutral effective um, against. Uh, Scream because it's still flying, and so it takes a while hit and stuff. I can use hyper potions to heal it. That's what I've been doing in my other recordings that are failed and they didn't make the final cut. But let's talk to Reggie Rock. There's no text box, but I'll grunt at us and we can battle it. So Reggie Rock, all the Reggies will be level 40 and genderless. So that's pretty cool. So let's go for Screamo. Let's go for the stealing first. I missed. Dang it. Curse. Okay, so curse will lower its speed one stage, speed stat one stage, but raise attack and defense. It's attack and defense stat one stage. So yeah, it's uh, you're doing like that time it hit. Awesome. And yeah. Oh man, yeah. since it got the boost of uh, defense, I guess it did less. Because in my other recordings, it's done at least half. Okay. Now now it's uh. Now I just raise it up tw two stages for defense and attack. Of course, that's great. Ah, uh, still in. Uh, I'm being very. Oh my gosh, it's just. Uh, it's being annoying right now, I can s to say the least. Still in hits this time, good. Let's see what she does. Yeah. And it's only using curse. Wow. I used like three times in a row. Usually it uses superpower, ancient power, or rock though by um by now, but whatever. I think I'm gonna use one more stealing, especially since it used curse there and raises defense stat again. Yeah. I think I'm gonna use stealing again. It hits awesome. Okay, cool, it's in its red health, not nice. It's all it's only been using curse, wow. Trying to max out its tent attack and a defense stat, but it's also decreasing its uh, uh its uh speed stat. So that's pretty cool. Let's go for the ultra ball. I'll throw the nest ball and repeat ball just to be funny too. Just to have a good laugh if it catches it. Although in my failed recordings, it hasn't done that. Like the nest ball doesn't even shake once. Ooh three. Oh my gosh, that was. Oh my gosh, that was so close. Jeez. Dang it. Yeah. But in my favorite recordings, the nest ball doesn't even shake once, and the repeat ball sometimes shake once. Yeah. Dang it, that got my hopes up, man. Nest ball, nice. Nope, of course not. It could have, little, it could have had little hearts when it came out of Pokeball. Um, if I caught in a nest ball. Okay, so yeah, superpower. Um, it lowers its attack and defense stat, but it's really powerful. It's a fighting type move, I believe. Let's go for the repeat ball. Let's see if we can catch another repeat ball. Infinity sign. Yeah, nice. <laughs> I'll take infinity sign at least. Let's go for another ultra ball. Hopefully, it doesn't knock out Screamer here. But you never know. One, two, three. We caught it. Awesome. Nice. Nice. Okay, so I had like two or three failed recordings before this, but uh, and we finally caught on take one of this recordings attempt, I guess you could say. We caught Reggie Rock. Awesome. There's that. It's Pokedex. Awesome. It's number 193 in the Pokedex. His name is Reggie Rock, of course, the Rock Peak Pokemon. Its height is 
five foot seven, so that's half an inch taller than me, because I'm five foot six and a half. <laughs> yeah, it weighs five hundred seven point one pounds. So geez, its footprint kind of looks like a kind of looks like a doll, like a wolf or something, like a tiny wolf. Like if it's standing right in front of you, like looking you straight in the eyes. Kind of, I don't know, but I could be wrong. Okay, a red rock was sealed away by people long ago. If this Pokemon's body is damaged in battle, it is said to seek out suitable rocks on its own to repair itself. That's pretty cool. Can we him to Red rock Um, let's uh, let's name this guy Reg. Name like a reg, like E R, and then edge. I'm hoping I spelled that right. Reg. Hopefully I did. If I didn't, that's sound embarrassing. But whatever. Okay, reg. Reg was sent to the PC. Nice. So yeah, let's exit right here. Nice. And uh, let's go to the different um. Town Pokemon Center because it's where Reggie Rock is just north of that of that water route of um Re Duper Town. So uh wait hold on how many how many um Ultra Balls do I have now? I have to, I need to buy two more Ultra Balls because I want to get back to twenty. Okay. Well actually I don't think I need to buy more Ultra Balls because I have eighteen. I only use two. So yeah, I use two Ultra Balls. Um one repeat ball and one Nest Ball. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, but I want to fire back to, I want to fire a different town and heal up at the Pokemon Center real quick and show if it's, uh, Reg, Reg's summary, my Reg Rock that I just caught. So yeah. Let's do it. First, let's heal up our Pokemon, even though Screamer's the only one who got hurt, but still. Yeah, I would like to rest my Pokemon, please. Thank you. Haha. <laughs> nice. Awesome. Okay, so let's see here. Let's use a. Let's go to Lane PC, of course. Move Pokemon. Um. Let's see here. Let's go to Red Rock. Yeah. Summary. Yeah, Red Rock's a pure rock type Pokemon. And its ability is clear body prevents any any prevents ability reduction. It's a docile nature. I think this I pronounce it docile. I could be pronouncing that wrong, but I will. At level forty does it ruins the way I met. Richard Rock does it have any items or ribbons. It's, it has 125 HP. Uh, its attack is 91. Its defense is 166. Its push attack is 46. Its push defense is 87. And its speed is 45. Now, the moves Rock the Curse, Super Power, and Ancient Power. And all of them are tough according to contest appeal moves. So, all of them are tough. That's awesome. Yeah. So, in my other field recordings, I, like, I got to the point where, like, it ran out of PP, so you struggle, and I was already weakened down in the red health, so like one or two struggles, it would just knock itself out, which was really frustrating. That's okay. So yeah, um, off screen I'll tell you if I need if I need to go back if I just went back to the Pokemon Center off screen and to get Pokemon that was such an HMs. I think you might need Cut or something, or I think maybe Regirock, Um, you will. Um. What was it? Reggie Ice, I mean, you'll need a... I think you might just need to stay in front of the desert, uh, the entrance or where the braille is for two minutes and just wait there without pressing any buttons. So, like, read it and then just wait there for, like, two minutes or so. So, actually, with that in mind, I'll actually, um, put Larry in the PC and, uh, get out Smokey then. Because I might want to use Smokey against Reggie Rock, or Reggie Ice, the next part, because it's Ice type and it's super effective. But then I have to be careful on what fire type moves to use so I don't knock it out easily. So, I'll be right back. Okay, as I said, I got Smokey my Torkoal out of the PC. Let's so put Torkoal up front, I guess. And let's put, um, let's switch Metroid with, um, Screamer, because I want to organize them in the levels. Because Smokey is level 56, Twitch is level 56, Screamer is level 56, and Gecko is level 56. And then Fighter and Metroid are both level 57, so that's pretty cool. So let's make our way back to, um, or go to the next, uh, chamber, uh, ruins, I should say. I forget what it's called for Reggie Ice, but we'll figure out the next, being in the next part. Or I could put a text over on screen right now, just telling you what ruins it is for Reggie Ice. Or Reggie Ice, however you want to pronounce it. Either way, it's a bit correct, so that's okay. We have 10 repels left, okay, so let's use another repel. We have 9 now. Because we just used one. 
Simple math, nine, 10 minus 1 is 9. So yeah, I should be able to pull all the Pokemon here, so that's good. And the, and the ruins is over here, I believe. I have to actually, nope. It's a little more, uh, okay, cool. Yeah, nice. Here's the ruins, awesome. So yeah, so I'm in the part right here. So this has been my Pokemon Ruby Reroot Lock the Guy part. Next part will take on Reggie Ice or Reg Ice and help and catch it, of course. We're gonna catch it for sure. So yeah. So this has been Jenko again. I would like to thank you again goodbye and I'll see you guys next part of my Pokemon Ruby Redo Walk the Guide.